So much with this whole Zay Flowers news that came out yesterday is wait and see. We all in wait and see mode and we all have to wait for the facts to come out uh, because we could have what we think about this and what we think about that and what's going to possibly happen with this and what's going to possibly happen with that. But right now, just straight up, we really don't know. We don't know. And honestly, I don't even think the Ravens know right now either what's going to be next in this whole thing. But um, they did respond to the news that came out yesterday, the alleged news that came out yesterday. And this is what they had to say. We are aware of the report regarding Zay Flowers. We take these matters seriously and we'll have no further comment at this time. So they just put it out there publicly like, hey, we know what's going on, but we're not saying nothing about it right now. We'll talk later. Um, and of course they will because you know that it is going to be brought up with whenever the next presser is the questions about it are going to be brought up um, and it's yeah because it's it's a pretty big deal uh, so in Baltimore Ravens they have come out and said they said it right here and, and they've said it before they are no they have no tolerance for this type of thing um, but again it's a wait and see thing. You gotta wait till all the facts and all the red the, the, the information the correct information accurate information comes out. And then they got to just handle it accordingly. I know um, one of the craziest things about this whole scenario is just thinking about the unknown. And I'm sure y'all have done it. I have certainly done it to where you think about every scenario. We've thought about all the best case scenarios, but then at the same time, we thought about all the worst case scenarios. And hey, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. But be patient. And as I mean, it's life as a Ravens fan, man. And, and it's... uh. Yesterday was certainly a uh, a roller coaster. We talked about roller coasters a couple of days ago. This is it. Ravens they prepare you for it. being a Ravens fan. Will you will prepare you to deal with uh, the the fear, the the the, the craziness, the, the thrill, the just and everything in between because they will take you for these rides. Being a Ravens fan, it is not for the weak at all. Certainly isn't. But um, but on a serious note, we just hope that this whole thing gets hammered out and it eventually will uh it's just a matter of time so we'll see what goes down with it now something that did get hammered out last night uh was lamar jackson officially getting his second mvp award and what's crazy about the second mvp award we all know the first one was unanimous and the only other person who got a unanimous mvp was tom brady he obviously is the most successful quarterback to ever have done it but with lamar jackson he was literally one vote away from his second unit. Oh, my goodness, that would have been crazy. But he was one vote away from his second unanimous MVP. Now, I never once thought that this MVP award would be unanimous. I didn't even think it was going to be close to being unanimous. I thought it was going to be a divide. I thought Lamar was going to win and that he was going to have the most votes, obviously. But I thought it was going to be split up, sprinkled here, maybe some Christian McCaffrey here, maybe a little bit of Josh Allen there, maybe Dak Prescott here. But I, I did not think it was going to be 49 votes for Lamar Jackson to one for Josh Allen. Like, that's crazy, man. But crazy in a good way because it lets you know just that people were like, oh, yeah, we all in on Lamar Jackson. Uh, but, and again, I just appreciate it because people are looking at the games. I like how Dan Orvlosky, who was on with um, The Vault with Bobby and Sarah, he, he talked about how he feels like Lamar Jackson. He even got some hidden yards. Stuff that may not necessarily show up on the stat sheet uh, because it's true because you see, you see everything that he does on a weekly basis. And us as Ravens fans, sometimes we can sort of take it for granted and say, oh, yeah, that's Lamar Jackson. That's what he does. And it is what he does. But the impact that it has on the games and how valuable it is to the games and to the Baltimore Ravens, it goes a long way. So with Lamar Jackson and his two MVP awards, the votes were 99 to 1. 99 to 1 out of 100 because it was 50 votes the first year, 50 votes this year, and 99 of those votes went to Lamar Jackson, just one went to Josh Allen this year. So shout out to Lamar Jackson. Uh, Jonah Schaefer, he, he hit us with a nice statistic about Lamar Jackson. He said Lamar Jackson is the first player to ever win the Heisman Trophy and multiple MVP awards. That is a beautiful thing uh my guy bet bet with matt matt king he put this out on twitter he said lamar jackson is your 2023 mvp here are his accolades in the nfl in only six seasons and i'm sure 
he's probably missing a bunch because Lamar done broke like a million records. And again, like I always say, he's breaking a new record like every other week. But anyway, he said, NFL's most valuable player in 2023, NFL's most valuable player in 2019, two-time first-team All-Pro 2019 and 2023, three-time Pro Bowler 2019, 2021, 2023, NFL passing touchdown lead in 2019. Now, with that, something that's very interesting. Um, in two out of the three regular seasons that Lamar Jackson finished, he wins the MVP because he finished in 2019, won the MVP. He finished a regular season in 2020, didn't finish the postseason because that's when he got a concussion. Uh, but then in, in 2021 and 2022, he didn't finish the regular seasons. But then in 2023, he finishes the regular season, gets another MVP. So this dude, when he finishes the season, he has a 66.6 chance to become the NFL MVP. Based on, hey, those are the numbers. Those are the numbers. So, and it's like what we talked about earlier, too, with Lamar Jackson. Um, when he plays, Ravens win. Ravens win. Now, we got to fix that in the playoffs now. We got to take care of that. And they will. They will. I, I really thought this was going to be the year, but we ain't, we ain't got the Swifties on us. Uh, but anyway. Um, next year again. Every, every twelve years, every every twelve years, that's when Ravens win the Super Bowl. So hopefully that trend ends up continuing. Um, but he also listed some other NFL records that Lamar Jackson has. He has a single season rushing yards by a quarterback in twenty nineteen. A thousand yard rushing seasons by a quarterback. He had one in twenty nineteen and one in twenty twenty. Games with a perfect passer rating in a single season. He has two in twenty nineteen. Games with one hundred rushing yards by a quarterback. He has twelve of them. Playoff games with one hundred rushing yards by a quarterback. He got three of them. So Lamar Jackson continues to make and break history. Um, and somebody that made history this year for the Baltimore Ravens was Mike McDonald. And he was just an amazing defensive coordinator for the Ravens. Triple crown winner this year, which is extremely tough uh, to do. But with, with that, with him being so successful, um, people are going to have eyes on you. You are going to garner a lot of attention on yourself and on your staff. And that's exactly what happened. The Seattle Seahawks hired Mike McDonald as their defensive coordinator. So the Baltimore Ravens have a lot of staffing changes uh, to their coaching staff. Uh, but they added somebody yesterday, or they're expected to add somebody. Uh, and this came from Bruce Feldman. He said, source, Kansas defense, defensive analyst Mark DeLeon is expected to join the Baltimore Ravens staff as linebackers coach. Previously, the 36-year-old DeLeon had been the inside linebackers coach with the Bears, Chiefs, and Lions, and had also had been an assistant with the New York Jets. So, initially when I saw that, I'm like, oh, okay, they're getting somebody off of Kansas City Chiefs, their coaching staff, but this is actually Kansas, like the college Kansas. So, I was wondering why it didn't say Kansas City or it didn't say from Chiefs coaching staff, but it's Kansas. So, that's exactly what it is. Uh, and Jeff Zrebic, he, he gave us a little more information. He said that uh, Kansas defensive analyst Mark DeLeon and Michigan defensive analyst Doug Mallory, who both have extensive NFL experience, are two pending hires for John Harbaugh's Ravens coaching staff. But there are still a few more job openings, including the defensive line job. So linebackers coach last year was Zach Orr. He's now defensive coordinator. Defensive line coach last year was Anthony Weaver. He's now Miami Dolphins defensive coordinator. So they, they provide an opportunities, man. Guys is coming up. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, Jeff Rebick also said this. He said defensive coordinator Mike McDonald, now the head coach with the Seahawks. Assistant head coach slash defensive line coach Anthony Weaver, defensive coordinator with the Dolphins. DB's coach Denard Wilson. Oh, I forgot about that one. He's now the defensive coordinator with the Titans. And assistant offensive line coach Mike Devlin. That's the G-Row lookalike. Uh, he is the offensive line coach with the Chargers. And he said those aren't the only Ravens coaching departures. There are four or five other coaches who won't return. And he listed the, the, the following. He said uh, the other coaches who are not expected back include assistant coach Assistant quarterback coach Kerry Dixon, assistant special teams coach TJ Weiss, and senior analyst James Urban and Craig Verstige. Oh, those two been around for a while. I didn't know James. I, I didn't even realize James Urban was still there, but I didn't realize he was going. Oh, and Craig Verstige, he been there for a little minute too. Ravens director of football research Scott Cohen also won't remain in the role that he's been in. So uh, he could be getting another role with the Ravens. That's what that sounds like. Or maybe they be, might be like, you know what, thanks, but. No thanks. Hey, who knows? But anyway, um, that's the Ravens for you. Uh, again, it's always something going on with the Baltimore Ravens. Some good, 
some bad and everything else in between but we are just the messenger we're here to keep you updated and informed on all the happenings surrounding with our favorite uh football team team to keep it clean uh make sure you subscribe to the channel turn your notifications on um shout out to y'all that because <laughs> y'all know like we family y'all 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 know already y'all uh, because i did see it in the comment section a couple times people hit me up as well say oh man you got to get better get 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 well sooner yeah i got this little annoying i guess a cold it's just just mainly just snot just something blowing my nose every five minutes but it is getting better it may not sound like it but it is getting better slowly so Maybe I'm just so sick of just that the Ravens not in the Super Bowl. 